Good morning, y'all. This is Cherie with PassionatePennyPincher.com, and I hope everyone is starting off a fabulous Tuesday. I know I am. It's bright and early here in Alabama, but in the heading above, I told y'all that we can't, like, it's going to happen. Back to school, and in my case today, back to work. My husband went back to work today for the first time in a year and a half, and so I was like, I gotta get my act together. And I don't always make his lunch, but I like to have things around for him to make his lunch. So today I thought we'd talk about our little nugget of a lunch menu that I think is a little overlooked. Um, we have got a lunch menu that is six weeks of lunch recipes that can be packed, can be cooked ahead, packed in thermoses and that sort of thing. So I wanna like give y'all the scoop on this little lunch plan because I feel like it's just a little overlooked and I meant to change it to where y'all, it wouldn't be backwards for y'all. Let me see, oh, what do I switch? Now I can't remember how to, I can't remember. I don't, I don't I'm, a, I'm scared to change it. But anyway, this is our lunch plan. It has 30 uh, main dish recipes and six little desserts to pack. So this is a great little nugget of a menu that if you're interested, you can click the link in uh, the video and Nicole will I'm sure put it in the header as well. But today we are going to make barbecue ranch roast beef pitas and I'm going to get them all ready to pack for my son is home for the summer. Actually, my son is home. Um, he's graduating from Auburn August 7th. So he has gotten a job here and he'll be living at home um, for just a little while. So y'all tell me hello as y'all are hopping on. I'm not seeing anybody's comments. Um, I can see that people are on. But anyway, I hope y'all having a great day. We're going to get started and make these pita wraps um, with some roast beef. So they're going to be excellent. Good morning, Debbie and Angelica and Anne. So um, I will put this down. Y'all, I just had a really strange thing that said someone wanted to be in the video with me. So, I don't know. That has never happened before. Julie, good morning. And Jessica, okay, now I can see y'all saying hello. Yay. Okay, if y'all have the lunch menu, give me a heart. If you've never heard of the lunch menu that we have, give me a like. And that way I can kind of fill out, um, cause I don't want to inundate y'all with stuff about the lunch if you already know about it. Good morning from Vicki from Georgia. Oh, you're at the beach. Oh, oh, okay. I'll try not to be jealous, but I was there a couple weeks ago on business with my husband. So I'm not going to be too jealous. Good morning, Kimberly. All right. So we have got some pita bread and y'all Facebook is acting so wonky. Oh, y'all lots of likes. So y'all have not heard of our lunch menu. Okay. I will tell y'all more about it. Um, I've got some pita bread, I've got some cheese, some roast beef, and let me tell y'all, Facebook is wonky, so it's going to be really uh, hard for me to read comments because I cannot pull up comments on my computer, but I will try my best so I can chit chat with y'all. I'm going to try to keep it like this, but if I'm up here, I have old lady eyes and I have to be able to see y'all. So, the first thing... You know what, let's see. I think I'll chop my vegetables first. So I've got a red onion and tomato. And so I just need a little bit of some red onion slices. So, and I did not prep this ahead of time at all. So we're gonna be in full onion force over here. I'm gonna cut that in half, I'm gonna make that little easier to peel. I don't know why are red onions always so huge is my question. They must grow really, really well is all I know. They're so good, but they're always so big and you don't need a whole lot. So it feel, I feel like um, it takes me forever to use a whole red onion. And this one is quite juicy. I got that juice. Okay, so I'm just going to slice some little thin slices. So, if y'all have not heard of our lunch menus, it is um, only available right now in the PDF. It is $7.95. I mean, you cannot beat it. Um, you're gonna get six weeks worth of lunch menus that are great for back to school, 
they're great for homeschool. They're great for all the schools. They're great for back to work, honestly, guys. That's what I'm doing these for my husband. I told my husband and son last night, okay, listen, after tomorrow, I'm going to have a few things for y'all to put in your lunch. This is not the greatest knife for cutting a tomato, but we're going to go with it. I'm just going to slice these tomatoes. I don't know what my directions say. Oh, it does say sliced. And get one more. Oh, y'all. I'm probably doing this all wrong. I have got to go. The next time I go to Memphis to see my parents, they have a farmer's market. And if y'all have ever been up in Ripley, Tennessee, let me tell y'all, they have the best, best tomatoes on the planet. My grandfather used to grow tomatoes and something about the soil in Ripley is just amazing. It is, I don't know, but it makes some really great tomatoes. So I'm gonna take some pita bread. I'm gonna cut it in half to where we have our little pockets. See me. I'm trying to move everything. And I know I have a bread knife. Oh, it's in my basket somewhere. So I've got three. No, I have four pitas. I don't need all those. I have three pitas here, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut them all in half like this. And then I've got my rose pick. Y'all, I did not prep anything. Like, this is not pretty uh, Facebook Live. This is real life. Um, i got to get some sandwiches made. I didn't put anything pretty out on a plate. If y'all have questions about the lunch plan, let me know. And I will be happy to answer them. I can't promise I'll answer them on video, but I will go back and look. Okay, so these are just pitas. If y'all have never worked with pitas, they're a really fun way to do a sandwich. I'm just going to go ahead and open these all up. So, and pita bread, honestly, I was looking at the calories on it. One whole pita, I believe, and these are not even like whole wheat or anything. These are just white, plain old pitas are 160 calories for one whole pita. So, if you only ate a half a sandwich, that would only be 80 calories. So, I'm going to take my roast beef and I'm just gonna stuff it. I think I may do these in an assembly line. I'm gonna start off with one piece because I really don't know how much roast beef that I have here. Can y'all see? I think y'all can see. I love pita sandwiches and I always forget about them. But y'all, if you decide to make some pitas, I'll tell y'all one thing. Another good thing to do in a pita is to put a little bit of hummus in your pita and then put your lunch meat in there. It's super yummy, yummalicious. I've got those. You know, I probably should have started off with my cheese, but of course I did not. Hey, Christina. So are y'all ready for back to school? Are y'all ready for back to work? Like, are y'all, is everyone already like, have y'all been in the office? Like, I don't know. I feel like we in Alabama are, some people are still all virtual. Um, like I said, my husband went back today, but it's gonna be hybrid. So he will work from home still two days a week, which I'm not complaining about. I kind of got used to it. Uh, Stephanie says she would eat it without the meat. My family would eat the meat. Oh, hey, these make great veggie pitas. So I'm just going to stuff the cheese down in here in hindsight. And I'm just taking one piece of cheese and halving it and putting a ha one half in each pita. Probably would have been easier if I had done the cheese first, but you know how it goes. That's just how it is. It's real life over here. This is super, super simple, y'all. I almost hate to even call it a recipe, but it's an idea. You know, sometimes we just need little ideas. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of onion, my little onion that I did, and I'm not gonna put these in all of them because 
my son, um, I don't think likes the onion, although he can pick it out. I can't remember if he, he might, you know what, I'm gonna put it in all of them. Pfft. I'm changing my mind. He's 21, he can pick it out if he doesn't like it. And, and mama's making them, uh, which does not happen a lot because they're grown men and they can make their own sandwiches. But sometimes I like to treat them a little bit special. Okay, that pita is a little falling apart, but it's good. Okay, I'm gonna do my lettuce first. And I was, I just got like the shredded lettuce that was already in the bag. So there you go. And I'm just gonna stuff my little lettuce in here. Oh, I just wanna make sure y'all can see you really well. I'm making a big mess over here is what I'm doing, but we're gonna get it done. And then I wanna show y'all the secret sauce that I'm going to pack. Oh, and I did not get my little containers out. I knew I was forgetting something. Um, you know those little rubber, those, yeah, little rubber made containers that always come with your kits, the little teeny tiny ones that you never know what to do with. Well, today I'm gonna to show y'all something you can do with them. And lastly, I'm gonna put one tomato and I'm gonna to try to put the tomato in where it doesn't touch the bread so it doesn't get soggy. Actually putting it in between the meat and the cheese. And that's because these are gonna be stored for a couple of days in the refrigerator. All right, so those are done. Let me scoot all my stuff out of the way, get my sandwich bags. And I'm just gonna stick these in my little sandwich bags and then we're gonna make the sauce. And I'm just gonna put one per baggie because I feel like my husband, my, my son will take two, but my husband will just take one. And so this should last them. My husband's gotta work today, tomorrow, and Thursday in the office. And so this will get him through those three days and we will be good to go. Or they'll be good to go. Maybe I'll eat one. I, I mean, I did the work. I think maybe I should eat one. Good morning, Paula. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that you are doing great. So what did you say? I bet you could use one of the prep stands. Oh, girl, you know that is right. And I didn't think about it. I did use one uh, yesterday or I was doing something. I can't remember even what it was. And I was like, ah, I should get out my freezer prep stands. That would definitely have uh, saved me a little bit of time, but I'm almost done. So we're just not going to worry about it. All right, are y'all ready for me to make the sauce? The sauce is so simple, but it's a little unique and maybe something you've never thought about. So it's just another idea. My lettuce, get my lettuce out of the way. Okay, let me go grab my little containers. containers how many of y'all have these give me a heart if you have these containers and you're like I never know what to do with these things they are so small you can never do anything with them I mean that is like what I feel like about these and you always get a ton of them they always give you so many of those when you buy the Rubbermaid but today we are gonna be smart now the recipe says to mix up this together but I'm gonna put them in these little containers for my people and then they can drizzle on them so their sandwiches do not get soggy. So y'all are all agreeing with me about these little containers. Like, what do you do with these? Well, today we're gonna make secret sauce and this is the bacon or the barbecue ranch sauce. So it's pretty much half, half barbecue sauce, half ranch dressing. So we're gonna guesstimate and I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of ranch in these and try my best to do the equal amount of my Sweet Baby Ray's. Do y'all like Sweet Baby Ray's? It's our favorite, um, besides my homemade, but it is my favorite. 
We're gonna do equal amounts of barbecue sauce. A little bit more there. And then, if you were just making these at home, you could make this up in a bowl and then drizzle it on your sandwiches. But because we're packing these from my people, we're gonna do it this way and we're gonna go ahead and give it a stir up. Can y'all see? Just stir it together. It's really yummy, y'all. If you've never tried it, it's definitely yummy. I would not steer y'all wrong, but I felt like today was the day that I should talk about lunch plans because we have all got to get with it. We're in the summer mode and nobody wants to think about the drudgery of having to pack the lunches again, but these are so simple that your kids can definitely join in on it and help and it helps the mamas out because or the dads you just need ideas we get so i mean i remember when mom were um in that stage mine are all grown now so i don't have to do this uh, anymore but believe you me i remember the pain and the struggle of having to pack the lunches every day so i've got my little sauces so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them all in here this is kind of an overkill bin but it was all i had and it's probably not even going to fit in my refrigerator but you get the point that they'll be able to grab them if you were making them for kids and you had a system you could put your chips and everything so go ahead and put my little sauces in here and so now they have their sandwiches they have their sauce they can grab them and then make the rest of their lunch so now i will look up and answer any questions. Um, Julia says, still packing lunches all summer here. Oh, really? Wow, bless you. Um, but anyway, this is from, this is the Barbecue Ranch Roast Beef Pitas from our lunch menu. Y'all, this little nugget of a lunch menu is $7.95. It is well worth it. Um, let me just tell you, the Lunch Lady Brownies in here is worth getting it for the recipe. So y'all can click the link above or in the video and I will come back and answer any questions. And y'all please sprinkle this video with, with your friends who you know are struggling, are going to have to be making lunches coming up with back to school going. So y'all, you know, this you don't need a recipe to make these. Y'all scroll back in the video or rewind it, watch it. It's just roast beef, cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, some uh, ranch dressing and barbecue sauce. These are ideas. I mean, they're recipes, but it's really to get you out of the rut of peanut butter and jelly um, or, you know, tuna salad, whatever it is that you seem to make every single day. There's some nugget of some recipes in here. So I think you'll be happy with it. Um, we love them. I mean, there's chicken burrito bowls in here. There's fruit pizza. There's ham and cheese sliders. There's frozen lemonade pie. I mean, oh, we, I mean, you can't pack that in a lunchbox, but you can make it, and then your kids will be really happy. So, y'all have a great day. Um, it was good to see y'all today. We let Shannon go on vacation today, and I'll be back on Thursday, and I'll see y'all then. Have a great day. Bye.